Fly the FRAR set in the required configuration, push the dolly into position just in front of the frame. Open the pins, lower, and lock into place. Move around to the rear of the array and lower the frame all the way down onto the cabinet. Lift up, lower onto the spine, then insert the flying pin. The white numbers are the flying angles. Select the required flying angle by inserting the flying pin. Repeat for the remaining cabinets. Lift up the array so that it is fully floating off the ground. Check the cabinet flying angles are correct, then insert the corresponding yellow locking pin. Remove the rear dolly pin and stow. Move around to the front and open both pins to release the dolly. Remember to close the pins to avoid accidental damage. Cable up the cabinets in the desired configuration. The array can be lifted up ready for the next dolly. Select the white flying angle by inserting the flying pin. Open the front pins of the flown cabinet, align to the dolly and connect together. Ensure the pins are fully inserted. Lift the array so it is fully off the ground. Check the flying angles, then insert the yellow locking pin. Pull the cabinets back whilst lowering the array. Keep lowering until the two cabinets meet. Lift the spine at the join and insert the white flying pin. Raise the array and insert the yellow locking pin to complete. Remove the dolly, ensuring the rear pin is stowed. Move around to the front and open both pins to release the dolly. Remember to close the pins to avoid accidental damage. Cable up the remaining cabinets in the desired configuration. Check all pins are fully inserted, then fly the array.